Hello everybody, here's my mama, and she's gonna be making her famous uh, bologna, salad. bologna salad for y'all today. Sorry, I forgot what we was making here. <laughs> but here's all the ingredients, it's everything that you'll need. It's real simple, real easy, it's only got a few ingredients. Oh, you threw the bologna salad, uh, sandwich package oh, away, didn't yeah. you? This is bologna, and it's uh, been put through this processor here. Yeah, and it's real fine. See how fine it is? It chops it up. And she's gonna explain to you and show y'all how to make it. Yeah, so I just uh, chop my uh, my bologna. I just put it down in here and get it real fine. And then I'll put it in a big, this is one package right here. And uh, usually I make about uh, two or three packages. So, but uh, I'm just making one today. So I might have could have left it in there, but. And then uh, this is the cheese, and you can use any kind of cheese you want to, too. And this is my onions. I just do a little bit of onions in it to uh, give it a little bit of uh, flavor, you know. So. And if you don't got a shredded cheese, if you got sliced cheese, you can put that through this machine, too. Yeah. Or you can just mash it up, however you want to do it. Oh, you can you get uh, a single craft uh, cheese the single square cheese, and you can um, just uh, chop it up and put it in there. But this is a lot easier. So I just got this. This is the Kobe cheese. And you just sprinkle some in there. And uh, as much as you want, we like cheese. And then you uh, put this in here. This is the sweet relish. You just put a little dab of that in there. Maybe a bit more than that. I kind of stir it up in here. Uh, maybe more than that too. I should have got me another spoon, but I didn't. But this is what I, about the only thing I use that for. So now I like to get a bologna sandwich, fry it, and uh, put it on uh, light bread, toasted, and I put mayonnaise and this on it. And it is so good. Oh, and I used to, when I was a little girl at home, uh, back then you got, uh, you didn't get these. You got pickles, sweet pickles. That's what mom got anyway. I don't know if they had this or not. I never did see it when I was little. But she would get little sweet pickles and she would chop it up real fine and put it in her bologna salad. So, and you put as much as this as you want in it too. And then you take your uh, mayonnaise, and that's all it is. And it makes delicious sandwiches for parties or anything like that. It's real simple and easy. Take your mayonnaise. I like my craft mayonnaise or my dupes. I should have got me another spoon, but I didn't. But. And you put your mayonnaise in there. And you just stir it all around in there. It's a, it's a great hit for parties. You put it on your bread, and I'll show you. I'll get a little saucer. I pour you a little saucer out of the cabinet there. And um, bring that knife back in here for you. And uh, I'll, I'll show y'all while fixing the sandwich of it. Now my other grandson, Jonathan's boy, he loves this. Every time he hears about me making it, he comes down here and gets some of it. You just stir this all real good in here. Mix it real good. And I'm all. And this is what we used to do for parties. Shares, baby shares. Any kind of party you had, um, anniversary parties or whatever, wedding parties, this was real popular uh, back in the 60s. That's when Ben Milton got married. You know, uh, every, every party you went to, baby share, uh, uh, wedding um, share, or whatever kind of uh, party they was having or whatever kind of uh, bridal share, whatever it was they was doing, always had this, always. That was back in the 60s. So, 
you just take your bread, and this is the way they used to do it. And they probably still do, I don't know. And they had chips, and they had the, this bologna salad, that was the main thing. You know, these sandwiches. You get a little bit of uh, plain Lay's chips uh -huh. to go on the side of this, on the side of the plate. Yep. That's the way they done it back then. I had a dessert. Usually they had a little wedding cake or a little baby shower cake or, you know, whatever. And um, you, they'd have a whole tray full of these like this. And then they would cut them in two. And I'm sure y'all seen them all like this. Y'all done that too probably. You always cut it, cut your sandwich out. People were being trays of these, of the uh, bologna salads. And this is what they, this is what they had. Most of the time, that's all they had on a share was the bologna salad sandwiches, chips, and a dessert. That was about it, something to drink. That was it, you know. And this is good. I always put like a few extra things on mine. Like I'll put the slice of cheese on it or maybe some jalapeno peppers on there, make it spicy. Mm -hmm. Just depends, whatever you got, you can throw on there with it. Whatever you like. So there it is. It's fast and simple, easy. Yeah. Nothing fancy or nothing. And it's real cheap to serve at uh, parties and stuff. Okay. But most time I fix a big bowl like this, but I didn't this time. So I'm gonna read some to y'all. And this is my sandwich to eat after what? Get me a cup of coffee or a glass of milk and have me a little snack. Oh, there's a piece of, give me a, there. Give me a piece of my bologna off my arm. <laughs> <laughs> a little shrunk metal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're gonna be reading. Let me get my glasses all cleared off here. It's been real pretty today. It's been it stormed for about three or four days there, and just at night time. So I'm gonna be in First Corinthians, the fourteenth chapter. It says, "Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts." but rather that you may prophesy. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh. I wasn't going to read that. That's talking about the tongues. I'm talking about love. That's talking about it too, but 13th <laughs> chapter. Just a, just a chapter over because it's real short. It's got 13 verses too. It talks about love is charity, is the uh, greatest of all. It says, though I speak with the tongues, kind of started like that, didn't it? Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, that means love, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. So you have to have love. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity endeavor not, envieth not. Charity vaneth, V-A-U-N-T-E-T-H, not itself, is not puffed up, doeth not behave itself unseemly. Seeking not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, that's talking about the Lord Jesus, then that which is in part shall be done away. 
When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I become a man, I put away my childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly. But then face to face, now I know in part. But then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity, and that is love. And it says here, it says, in uh, Corinthians, uh, that talks about 12, it's up over here. Um, Our society confuses love and lust. Unlike lust, God's kind of love is directed outward towards others, not inward towards ourselves. It is utterly unselfish. This kind of love goes against our natural inclinedness. It is impossible to have this kind of love unless God helps us set aside our own natural desires so that we can love without expecting anything in return. Ain't that the truth? We can't manufacture this kind of love when we don't feel it. We gain it only through the Holy Spirit. Uh, we never love perfectly. Only Jesus can. Thus, the more we become like Christ, the more love we will show to others. Because Jesus is love. And if we uh, love Jesus and we have him in our heart and in our soul, that's what's going to shine through us is the love of Jesus. Because that's what Jesus is all about is love. Amen. So, so I'm going to uh, pray for y'all right now. Because we... And we all need to show love one towards another, you know. Uh, people might have uh, bad attitudes or do things that you don't like and everything, but you still got to show God's love, you know. Because um, that's uh, if you show God's love, that's what's going to draw them. If they don't know the Lord, that's what will draw them to the Lord, you know, is, is the love that you show for them. And don't try to judge them or anything, you know. A lot of people like to judge. My kids tell me I'm judgmental, you know, but I'm not. You know, I might be a little bit. But I try not to be, you know, because uh, you're not supposed to judge people. I know a lot of people uh, judges people when they come into church. Like I, I think it even talks about it in the Bible here. It talks about they come in in rags and stuff. You kind of shun them and everything. But if they come in riches, well, you just greet them and you take them and set them down up front. You're not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to treat everybody the same. You know, and that's what uh, uh, Christians are supposed to do, treat everybody the same. And that's what we need to try to do, too. But anyway, God is love is what it is. And we're supposed to let that love of Jesus shine through us. So I'm going to be praying for everybody. I know we all got ups and downs, and we go through a lot of things, you know, um, a lot of hurts, uh, a lot of sickness. I mean, Milton and Corey's just getting over sickness. But, uh, you know, we just have to hold on to the Lord and know that he's going to move for us one day. So uh, I'm going to be praying for you. Dear Lord Jesus, we just come to you, Lord, just thanking you and praising you for your love and your mercy, Lord, for always being there for us. Uh, Lord, you see our needs, Lord Jesus. You see what we need, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, and I just ask you to touch our YouTube family out there, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, wrap your loving arms around them, Lord. Let them feel your presence and know that you're near, that you're walking with them, that you're taking care of them, Lord. And Lord, help them to open their ears and their eyes up to see, Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord, that you're with them day in and day out, Lord Jesus, that you would never turn away from them. As long as they hold on to you, Lord, you'll be holding on to them, Lord. And Lord, and just touch each one that needs a touch, Lord. You see their needs, Lord. And you see the ones in the hospital, Lord, ones that are sick, Lord, going through surgery, Lord. The ones that have financial problems, Lord Jesus. And we know that we need to just hold on to you and that you will move when it's time to move, Lord. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you, thank you Lord, for helping us through this world, Lord. It's, it's getting so hard down here on earth, Lord. Just uh, try to survive, Lord. But we know, Lord, if we hold on to you one day after a while, it's all going to be worth it, Lord. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for your love that you show us, Lord. I ask you to touch our nation, our leader, leaders, Lord. Lord, touch Israel, Lord. Help them to find the peace they need over there, Lord. It's such a mess over there, Lord. It's a mess in our world, Lord, in the United States, Lord. Um, but, Lord, we know you have everything in control, Lord. And we know that you'll move when the time is right. Uh, Lord, just give us the strength, Lord Jesus, to hold on to you, Lord. And be unmovable in you and not... 
Lord, not turn loose of you, but go forward with you, Lord Jesus. And Lord, and just trust in you, Lord, in your mighty name we pray, Lord. And we give you all the love and honor, Lord. And we thank you for always walking with us, for taking care of us, Lord, for calling us into your family, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for pro providing our every need, Lord, and taking care of us. Have your way in all things, Lord. In your mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. God is good, and he will take care of us. Amen. We shouldn't worry. It says not to worry. It says just hold on, be true and faithful, and God will be true and faithful to you. So let's, let's try to do that. Let's try to show God's love to uh, people out there, all people, not just some people, but all people, you know. But um, I love y'all. I thank y'all for everything. Just hold Corey up in, his, um, in your prayers. He'll be taken off here pretty soon. So, uh, oh, well, you might not even see this after he's over there because <laughs> we try to save some of uh, some of the YouTube uh, videos up for y'all so when he's over there. But uh, uh, I love y'all. I thank you for always being there for us, uh, for all your comments, all your sweet words. We thank you for that. We love you. You know, have, uh, just ask you to uh, be true and faithful to God. Put him first. You know, if you put him first, he's going to put you first. And he will take care of you no matter what. So we appreciate you and we love you. Amen. Have a good evening. Well, I guess that's all for this one. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all uh, plan to make this. If you all do plan to make it, let us know in the comments how it turned out. Yeah. We love you all. God bless you all. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next one. Amen. All right, y'all, here's our uh, volume two cookbook. We finally got it in, so we figured we'd make a video showing y'all and explaining the cookbook and all the details and options on how to order it. But Mama's gonna walk y'all through it now and show y'all everything. Okay, this is the front of our book, and it has um, me in front of my rhododendron uh, bush with me holding the Bible and the uh, loaf of bread that I made. And then over here, it has uh, a story about us and how we got started in YouTube about Min and Milton. And this is when Min and Milton was uh, 10 years old. Then here's some more pictures of us and our family. And uh, our... then over here, it shows, I gotta do it like this, y'all. We have pictures of Corey and his uh, wife when they got married. And this is the menu i try to hold it up like this the index the index yeah and uh like the main menu i'll have a picture of me and my friend or whoever this is my friend here doing the main dishes and then we go on over after we do all the main dishes and each one has the has pictures in it yeah each section has a picture of like when it gets to the salads there'll be a picture yeah, of picture. her with somebody doing salads yeah nice and then there, there's a picture of me and Sharon, my friend, on the salads. Here's, uh, there's more pictures of, like, me and Jonathan doing the bread, me and my daughter doing the flan, uh, me and Annie doing the, uh, uh, there's my son, Jonathan, doing the angel bread that he bakes. And then there's uh, desserts, pictures of the desserts. Wait, there's the desserts. And it'll have desserts over through here. And uh, then in the end, it shows some more pictures. You know, so I think it's got 107 pictures in uh, pages in it. Yeah, uh, over 100. There's me and Papa and Scrappy. And uh, then there's some more pictures of uh, me and uh, my other grandson, Brandon, that helped me put the book together. Uh, there, and there was a picture of me and, me and Corey with his... Um, Homemade uh, tea that he does. It's in here. It's in there somewhere. In here I somewhere. forgot to get this book out of Mama's uh, personal one. So this is actually a book that one of y'all is going to receive. Yeah. And her other book, well, where you at, Corey? There's me and, is that, yeah, there's me and Corey. Him doing the tea, because he does the tea here. Yeah, and this is a summertime drinks uh, section. Yeah. So, and then there's me and Little Miss doing the, feeding the chickens. And Brandon is my other grandson that helped me uh, put the book together. And there's uh, some more pictures of uh, me and Jackie and Annie and Milton. And then when me and Milton went to uh, Stevens Lake. Uh, and it tells who it is and like everything about it underneath the picture. Yeah. It tells who's in the picture and stuff. 
Yeah. So, and that's our our book. Yeah, that's the volume two. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you all the details and options on how to order one. This is the P.O. box. They are uh, $30 for anybody who is wondering. Same as the volume one. They These ones cost a little bit more to make, but we're just going to keep uh, selling them for $30, the same as the volume one. Yeah. But here's the P.O. box. If you want to send a check, money order, or, or even however you want to send it, cash, it doesn't even matter. Uh, we'll send it out to you the next day. After we receive your order, the very next day we send out the book. So this is just one option on how to order the P.O. box. Y'all could pause it here. Y'all could write it down or whatever y'all want to do. And here's the other options. We have PayPal and Cash App. Sorry about the dirty paper. It wasn't dirty before. I don't know how it got dirty. But I'll try to hold it still if I can. There's the PayPal and Cash App yeah, if y'all want to send it through that way. But no matter how you send it, make sure to send your full address. If you send it through the mail or through a PayPal or Cash App, make sure to send your full address with it too so we'll know where to send the book out to. So just put your full address on the inside of the letter. If it's a letter or if it's through one of these, you could still uh, send your full address through this too with the payment. But you could pause it here, a picture, or write it down. But that's all for this one. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And we love y'all. And God bless y'all. We'll see y'all in the next one. Amen. Y'all let us know in the comments if y'all plan to order it. Y'all make sure to like and subscribe. Love y'all. Yes, we do.